Why are you crying and boohooing about your situation that I have given you authority over? Greater things you will do. God, God is, God is not, God has not, not equipped us to handle what we, what we face in life. He has equipped us with His Word. If you're not in His Word, if you haven't put on His Word, then you, you, you can't be equipped. So this is why you stand there and do nothing. And He's like, give ye them to eat, and you looking around like, what do you mean, give ye them to eat? I'm asking you, God. And God is like, I need you to match your faith and your power. I need you to activate it. And how do you activate it? You command. You don't you don't go in go in a hole and cry about your situation all day. Now, a God, God is in, God is sensitive. He is not insensitive. He understands what you're going through and the hardships that you face. So if you have tears, he, 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 he feels for you. He has compassion. He had compassion on the multitude. And that's why he blessed them. At the same time, he wants you to get out of your emotions. Yes, we have emotions. But he wants you to get to a point that you, that you say no matter what you see, that you say the opposite of what you say. Okay, you don't have, you don't have any food. Okay, God provides. He, he dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor. How much more will he clothe us? God is our shepherd. We shall not want. This is what God wants us to speak. He wants us to command our lives, command our day. We're sitting here waiting on God and God is waiting on us. When are you going to speak over your situation and over your life and declare my word, which is power, which has power and authority to change your situation? Give ye them to eat. Give ye yourself to eat. Give ye yourself to take care of this situation. Give ye yourself to, to, to prosper. Give ye yourself to live an abundant life. Give ye yourself to speak over your situation. Give ye them to eat. What does this mean? This means don't just stand there and have your hand out waiting on God. God is saying, be active, activate your faith, activate my word over your life, command your day, command your life, command what you want to see. God still the storm. He commanded the storm to still. You, greater things ye will do. Command your, your storm to still. All of this is, is activating God's power. You're not the way maker. You're not the miracle worker. So God is not saying, don't come to me with, with, with the fact that you don't have any food to feed the multitude. Don't, don't come. He's not saying don't come to me about it. But he's saying, how are you showing up in your situation? How are you coming to me? Are you coming to me like, woe is me? Are you coming to me with your head hanging down all, all, all droopy and, and sad and woe is me? No, God is saying be of good cheer. Like let the let the weak say that I'm strong. If you're if if you're going through a situation of sadness, God is saying the joy of the Lord is your strength. Receive what He's saying. Put off those emotions and receive the word and the power that God has given you through His word. Yes, God knows that we go through many seasons of life. Some of them good. Some of them bad. Some of them disheartening. Some of them treacherous but God is saying I see your situation and I see you my daughter but I want you to get to a point that you can speak life over yourself over your children over your situation yes I understand you are sad how that person did you yes I, yes I understand you feel alone because you because it's just you and your kid you're a single mom you're a single dad yes I see you and I know it's hard but what are you doing? What are you doing with your situation? What are you doing with what, with what I've given you? What are you doing with the power and authority that I have given you to speak over your situation, to command a thing and, and let it be done? You're asking God, God, where are you in my situation? And God is saying again, where are you in your situation? Are you on the couch crying all day because of your situation? 
Or are you going to stand up and come into agreement and alignment of what God word has said, says and what his the power and authority that he has given you, which says, give ye them to eat. You have power to give ye them to eat. You have power to feed yourself. You have power to 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 handle every situation that you're going through. And it's by activating God, by activating <laughs> his word in your life with faith, by faith, trusting that he is the way maker. He is the author and finisher of your faith. He is the provider, trusting that he is the miracle worker. So it's not saying put off God and do it all alone and don't come to him. He's not saying when he says, give ye them to eat in Mark 6, he's not saying, why you bother me with your situation? I don't got time. for. He's not saying that. He's saying he, he he's trying to activate something in you. He's trying to he's trying to um he's trying to get you to realize something with that with that scripture, with that verse. He's he's not trying to, to trying to bring you down. He's trying to uplift you and activate a switch. He's trying to turn on a switch in you to say, "My girl, my daughter, my son, I have you have the authority. Why are you looking at why are you looking at pastor and 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 sister so and so for everything? What what are you doing with what I've given you? Give ye them to eat. He's not saying don't come to me, but he's saying how are you coming to him? Give ye them to eat is not telling us to don't come to him for our needs. No. It's saying it's, he's trying to awaken something in us. Give ye them to eat. Meaning you can give them, you can give your children to eat. You have the power to do that. With his word, by faith, you have the power to command what you want to see. Give ye them to eat. What are you doing in your situation you're, 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 you're suffering from lack. Okay. God sees you. God wants to do a miracle in your life, but how are you showing up for yourself? How are you showing up in your situation? That's what he wants to see. Are you boohooing on your bed every day, crying about your situation and telling this one and that one about your situation? And, and, or are you getting up every day, believing God's word? and declaring it over your life and your situation. That's what God needs. He, he needs to see that. He needs to feel that. He needs to hear that. He needs, he needs, in order for God to activate himself in your life and to do a miracle in your life or give you a breakthrough, he has to hear you say his words. You have not because you ask not. You can't sit here hoeing and humming and saying, oh, I don't have this. But yet you still ain't asked God yet. You still ain't. You still ain't called down his power and authority. You still ain't come to him and say, Father, my situation is this. But you said, I am the head and not the tail. You said, you are my shepherd, I shall not want. That's the switch that turns on God's active force of miracles and breakthroughs in your life. That's the switch that turns the light on in your house. That's the switch that turns the light on in your finances. That's the switch that turns the light on in your body, in your health. By you activating God's word and you saying, Father, I declare and I command your word over my life. I am the head and not the tail. I am a lender and not borrower. I am healthy and whole. I have abundance in all things. That is the switch. You want you want to see breakthrough in your life? You want to see your situation turn around? Well, activate the switch. Give ye them to eat. Activate the switch in the power and authority that God has given you with his word. Activate the switch. Use what you have. You got five loaves and two fish. Activate that five loaves and two fish. Father, I only have five loaves and two fish. 
But God, you see here, I have this multitude to fill, these 10 kids that I have to feed. And you said that we, you are our shepherd, we shall not want. You, you supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You said we are the head and not the tail and lenders and not borrowers. You said we shall not want. You said you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. You get what I'm saying? I can go on and on and on. But the key here, the key here is God loves you and he wants to fix your situation. But he can't fix your situation if you don't allow him to. And how do you allow him to? By activating the switch of his word, commanding what you want to see, using his word over your life. Not when, 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 God, where are you? I'm not saying that God doesn't hear your cries. He hears them, but he needs you to understand the recipe in the, in, in the, in the, and how to turn on the switch to get him to intervene. He wants to help you. And he's not just standing there letting you hang out. You get what I'm saying? He's not just standing there like, oh, well, I want to help her. But, you know, well, I'm going to just stand there and watch her watch her fall off the far end. No, he's not saying that. But he wants you to get to a point that you understand who you are in him. He wants you to get to a point that you understand that you can lean on him and trust him. But it's the way that you do it that gets him to intervene on your behalf. It's a way. There's an equation. It's not, <laughs> Father, where are you? Uh, you don't see what's going on. Uh. It's no. It's Father, my King, Lord of Lords, King of glory. You sit high and you look low. You know my situation. And your word says that you are my shepherd and I shall not want. You make us me to lie down in green pastures. You lead us me beside the still waters. You restore of my soul, Father God. Right now, I, I have five loaves and two fishes and I got 10 kids. And God, I'm commanding down. I'm commanding down your riches and glory. I'm commanding down your riches and glory and our sustenance and, and provision for me to feed my children. I'm commanding down your blessings and your miracles upon me and my children because your word says that you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So we shall have everything, every good thing, everything in abundance. Our our finances shall be in abundance. Our, our, ooh, our, our food shall be in abundance. Our, our health is restored. Our minds are renewed. We have, we have, we have all things that we need. Our finances are abundance. Hallelujah. Like he, he wants you to start speaking don't speak what you see. Speak what you want to see. Speak those things that be not as though they are. So again, God is not saying, go your way, get out my face. Don't come to me. You, you feed them. No, he's saying, what have I given you to fix your, fix your situation? What have I shown you to fix your situation? What did I tell you to do that will fix your situation? I told you, give ye them to eat. Give ye them to eat. You have the power to fix your situation. Through God, he's not sending you away. Even in the scripture, it says, don't send them away. He says that, give ye them to eat. So you thinking you gotta, you thinking that you gotta go somewhere and far and 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 travel miles and miles to go get food. And God is saying, I could bless you right where you are. I could bless you right where you are. You ain't gotta travel to Kalamazoo to go get to to go find some food. I could bless you right where you are. What do you have in your house? What do you have in your midst? 
God wants you to look around and see that he's already in your situation. He wants you to look around and see what he has given you already. Which is one, his word. Which is two, his, his power and authority that you need to activate by using his word. Give ye them to eat. Give ye them to eat. How can you give ye them to eat? By using what God has given you. Commanding what you want to see. Speaking those things that be not as though they are. Speaking his word and declaring it over your life. Remembering his promises. Remembering what he said about you. Call, activating the switch and calling upon God by using his word. Not saying, God, where are you? This is not fair. Why are you doing this to me, God? You see I don't have this. You see I don't have that. Why are you going to let this happen, God? Why are you going to do this to me? Why are you letting them do this to me? No. God is saying, God is saying, you trample over serpents and scorpions, right? God is saying, I did tell you, you are the lender and not the borrower. I did tell you that I shall supply all of your needs according to your riches and glory, according to my riches and glory. So, so, so then you need to step into that. You need to use that word. Remember, his word is life. His word is food. His word is, is manna from heaven. He is the bread of life. His word is the bread of life. So you don't have because you ask not. You, you have the bread of life, but you ask not for it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You got Jesus, but you just saying you just saying allow him to come into your situation in your life because you're not activating his living word, his bread that he sent down from heaven. His bread is his word. Man cannot live off of bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So you're looking for you're looking for bread and God is like it's in my word. I I I am the bread of life. Come to me. All ye who who laden or who who and and and, and are heavy burden and I'll give you rest. Take up my yoke for it is easy it is light. I am the bread of life. Have you given your situation to God? Have have you done any of this uh, have you done anything that he has taught you? You can't come to God like, where are you? You need to fix my situation. If you haven't done what he's told you to do about your situation. He's given you the recipe to activate the switch for your miracle. And you have done nothing. You have done nothing with what he's told you to do. You have done nothing with what he's what with what he's the instruction, you have done nothing with it. And yet you sit day by day. God, where are you? And God is like, where are you? Where are you, my daughter? Where are you, my son? I've put it in your hands. Activate it. Activate my word. Activate the power and authority that I have given you by using my word. Speak to the storm. Command what you want to see. He loves you and he has not left you nor forsaken you. You're not alone. You're not without. He just needs you to see. Give ye them to eat, my child, my daughter, my son. Give ye them to eat. You have the power to change your situation through God in God. In Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that this blesses somebody today. I really pray because this is the recipe of activating the switch for God, for, for God's breakthrough and his miracle in your life. We need a renewal of our mind, a total renewal, a total transformative renewal of our minds. And it comes with the word of God. I'm not sitting here acting like I know everything, but this is something that God has just revealed to me. 
that I'm not activating the switch that gets that gets him moving. You go into your kitchen and, and you're like, oh, I can't see. I can't see. There's no light. Where's the light? I can't see. And God is saying, turn on the switch. <laughs> You have a light switch. Why are you why aren't you turning it on? You you're complaining about how dark it is in your house, but you got a light switch with lights. Turn on the switch. <laughs> in Jesus name. God bless you.